Hi, I'm Corey Perry, a museum educator at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art. And this is Bridging the Gap, a series of digital art engagements. In this segment, we will be looking at The Cost of Removal by Titus Kafar. It will be helpful to have paper and something to write with to respond to the prompts in the video. Before we get started discussing this work of art, let's take a few moments to look closely. Start by letting your eyes wander around the image and take note of what you see. Look at some of the details, such as the colors, figure, and the objects the artist used in his painting. Does the man in the painting look familiar? Please pause the video to give yourself time to become acquainted with the work and make a few notes on what you see. What's hard to see in the image is that this piece is as much a sculpture as it is a painting. Some broad details you may have noticed first could be the figure on the horse or the bright yellow brown strips of canvas attached to the man's body. These strips of canvas are physically nailed into the painting's surface. Also, have you guessed who the figure is? He's the seventh president of the United States of America, Andrew Jackson. Titus Kafar has painted an image of Andrew Jackson and nailed strips of canvas, resembling the Indian Removal Act, around Jackson's face. The Indian Removal Act was a policy signed by Jackson in 1830. This policy allowed the U.S. government to deport the Choctaw, Chickasaw, Creek, Seminole, and Cherokee tribes off their homelands and to force march these families to what is now known as Eastern Oklahoma. Why do you think he chose to nail these strips to his body? What sort of mood do you feel from the painting? What would you do differently to the painting? Please pause the video to give yourself some time to respond. At first glance, you may have felt that the nails gave a violent mood to the work. The nails and strips of cloth are directly influenced by Central African fetish dolls known as the Nkizi Nkunde of the Congo. The number of nails represents the amount of trust put into that object for protection. Have you noticed the amount of nails? Several nails are penetrating the object. So you have this idea that a deep trust was put into the president and the United States government. Overall, the nails deliver a painful duality. Essentially, Kafar is using this work to expose assumptions of art history surrounding a dark moment in U.S. history known as the Trail of Tears. Previously, another president, George Washington, had signed a peace treaty where he vowed he would respect the rights and borders of Indian nations, and his laws were known as the Indian Interstate Commerce Act. He considered his action honorable to the national character, as well as a sound policy. However, President Andrew Jackson signed the Indian Removal Act in 1830. This law went against what was promised to the Native Americans by President George Washington and the United States government. Removal and deportation of cultures of people is not a new experience in human history. It has happened many times before whenever one dominating culture has invaded the territory of another. The result is always a great loss for both the invader and the disposed. By taking dishonesty, we rob not only the victims, but also something of ourselves. Thank you for watching. This has been Bridging the Gap.